Welcome back, Glogan Kane here, and this is episode 11 of Paper Sorcerer. Today we're going to do a little bit, something a little bit different. Instead of just continuing on our normal path of sludging through the block levels in the cells, we're going to check out the catacombs. So we're going to go to that strange old house. We're going to give him that soul that we picked up last time. Found one of your souls, dude. He pulls the soul out of the gem and hurls it into the fire. Thank you for bringing back the soul. I will now unlock a new level of the catacombs. Good luck. Take me to the catacombs. Level one. <coughs> okay, so there's no exit. Wonder if I still yeah, I probably still have it. I don't know if I can use it though. Well, I have a feeling this is gonna be a gauntlet type situation. Although it doesn't look like that so far. Hmm. The lack of doors is unsettling. Wow, that music's really cool. Yeah, I just didn't want to talk over the music. It's great. You got 54 gems, lesser healing potion, leather, leather helmet, basic wind rune. Now, I don't know... Ooh, new skill. Soul shield. Protect yourself completely from one attack. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if that's from walking up to this thing, or if it's random battles down here. Man, I don't know where to go. But I'm guessing it's going to be pretty easy. It seems like this is a level 1 dungeon is for people that are on cell block level 1. Well, that's a new character. We'll take out the guard first. We'll just do attacks. See what happens. And that's a dead level 3 guard. It's on the right. I was expecting to see zombie stuff around here. I was surprised to see dwarves right away, of all things. He'll go, he'll go down quickly. Look at that. <clears throat> Even this level 3 guy is probably going to go down quickly. He did 6 damage-ish to my defense. whoop de doo Let's blast him one. Yeah, why not? We'll cheap shot. In a minute to her, he'll just attack. I don't think this guy's going to survive a regular attack. But he might. Totally possible. Ten gems. I guess the undead don't carry much money. Yep. Basic strong room and a leather helmet. And then more gems. Ooh, fur armor. Does anybody need more than 32 defense? I don't think so. He does. But he can't Oh, he could wear it. What am I thinking? Hell yeah, goblin. Put that fur on. Get sexy. Alright. <coughs> this place is a maze. I don't like it. I don't like the maze. How am I supposed to remember where I've been and what I've done? Fight? Yep. Fights are starting to become predictable. You just blackball that level 3 guard. Minotaur, take on the Dwarven Fighter. Cultist, you also hit the scout. Hopefully we'll be able to kill both of them in this round. Oh yeah. Hopefully the 
cultist goes and attacks the correct dwarf. Oh, nope. He dead. Man, I love this music. Just do a round of attacks, that should be enough. Go Goblin! 13 damage, Minotaur! 30? Can we get 30? Uh, 27. But it was enough to take him down. Getting a lot of crap, which is good, I need gems. But... Holy shit! Well... Perhaps I spoke too soon. Look at that. Four more agility. Well, not necessarily. Turns it to four. Doesn't really show minuses, it just shows what it does. So that's 10 to 23 and 10 crit. This is 13 to 26 and 15 crit. Another four agility, that is fantastic. Okay. That appears to be some sort of exit. Inside this chest is what looks like an oversized puppet. After taking out, you notice a series of runes along the base of its neck. Think back to where you've seen those runes before. In a large and dusty tome, you had read about an ancient form of necromancy. It involved taking a person's life energy and fusing it into an inanimate object, such as a doll or puppet. When activated, the puppet would serve the first person it sees. If what you remember is true, by activating these runes, you'll become the puppet's master. From what you've heard, the puppet will make a valuable ally, both versatile and loyal. Their abilities vary based on what parts are attached. Alternatively, by altering the rune, you could regain one of the former summons. However, this would destroy the enchantment on the puppet. Wow. Wow. What do I do? Do I want another summon? Do I want to get a vampire or a skeleton or something? Or Oh my lord. I'm going to go with the puppet. Looking at the series of runes along the puppet's neck, you figure out which one is missing in the sequence. You carefully etch in the missing rune. After several seconds, the whole sequence flares with a fiery red glow. The puppet stands and turns to face you. After making a few wooden clacking sounds, he gracefully bows. The puppet works differently from other summons. All of its attributes and skills are dependent upon what parts are equipped in. Equip it. That says equip it. Might want to fix that. Arms determine its attack power and skill. The head determines HP, strength, and magic. The body determines HP, agility, and... Oh, right. Scrolling. Scrolling's a pain in the ass, anyway. Well... Okay, I can swap them out. I think I will swap them out. Now let's see. Cultus. Really? Heal the puppet. Puppet has no skills. No parts to put on him, but he can equip a rune. Let's give him some agility. See what happens. Let's go get in a fight. Like hell am I not exploring the rest of the catacombs to the best of my ability. It's just an end. Boo, dead end, that doesn't matter. Man, I feel like I'm looking through a window more than looking at a texture, because stuff just kind of goes over it. Whatever. I already did that one. Now I think we're back at the beginning. There's a fight. That's what I wanted. All right, Minotaur. You know what? These guys are weak. Just do a bull rush. Follow, follow it with a wild swing. And the puppet, you attack the squire. And the sorcerer, blackball the dead guard. Do you have any skills, cultists? Like, seriously. Smite, extra divine damage. Let's hit the dead. Hopefully he's weak to it. The bull rush might be enough to kill that squire. That's what I'm hoping. 
course it misses. Puppet looks really cool. I wonder if I can get the rest of the summons. That would be awesome. I'm not going to hold my breath. Certainly not going to have more than one puppet. Oh, right. Wild Swing. That should finish him off. Hit the fighter. Everybody hit the fighter. So long as it lands. Alright. Gotta be dead. Oh, that puppet looks so cool. Although I really do like my goblin. Honestly, if I was going to swap anybody out, I think I'd rather swap out myself. <laughs> Sorcerer. In fact, I think I'm going to try and see if I can do that. Boom. Alright. Nothing to take home. Well, let's see what I can do. Where's my summon? Hmm. Wait, can I... Okay. Certainly want my cultist. Cultist is important. Puppet's not doing enough damage yet. Maybe when the puppet starts doing enough damage. For now, I'm going to keep my goblin out. I just want to play with the, go the puppet gimmick, otherwise I would have just grabbed myself another sun. I think I, I cleared it all. Where does this take me? Yeah. Cleared the first level of the Reaper's Dungeon. Is it the Reaper's Dungeon or is it the Catacombs? Well, I think next time we might go for level two. Let's get back to my room. It's black. That's spiffy. Take a rest. Get everybody in tip-top shape. And all right. This is episode 11 of Paper Sorcerer. Thank you oh so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Enjoy. Enjoy.